In medium duty trucking, manufacturers are rolling out battery electric versions of their diesel and gas models. And that's great, quick to market, and they can share components to reduce investment. It results in massive solid rear axles on leaf springs, an electric motor replacing the engine, and beefy frame rails high off the ground. It gets the job done, but they don't fully take advantage of some of the unique properties of an EV. And then there's a company like Re Automotive, a startup tech company unrestricted by legacy thinking. To best understand how they're different, you need to understand the Re Corner. And for that, here's Peter. Welcome to our Re Corner. Um, I think with, with the Re technology, we're building uh, commercial trucks around the, the technology which is based within this Re Corner. Um, and that gives you the first steer by wire, brake by wire, and drive by wire commercial vehicle out there. It's a common corner across all four corners of the truck. Okay, so you can put it on the rear right or you can put it on the front left, it's identical. And that allows us when we're looking to kind of manufacture and get scale of our products to put more volume into the critical components, the expensive components, the motors, the actuators, the electronics, and get the volume there, but then give us the ability to build different styles of trucks, different size of trucks with that component. Mm -hmm. So this gives us the scalability and the modularity. Do you want to have a quick look inside? Um, yeah. When we look at the corner, we've got a, an, in, an inboard section and an outboard section divided by our, our subframe. And the outboard section has got uh, fairly conventional, but pretty advanced double wishbone, uh, coil over spring, uh, spring over, over damper, sorry, suspension with standard hydraulic brakes and, a, and we've got an electrical park brake here. Mm -hmm. But when you go inboard is where the technology is. So inboard then we've got a central EDU unit, which, got, which has got your motor, your transmission and your inverter for all of your 400 volt drive units. Mm -hmm. You've got a 48 volt steering actuator which is actually a twin one motor for redundancy. So that then gives us our steering. So we have steering on all four wheels. And then we also, underneath that, we have a 48 volt brake actuator, which controls the conventional hydraulic brakes on the vehicle. Hmm. So all of this bit is the, is the technology. All of that bit is existing. This is all controlled through our own electronics and software. This has a rear corner, which controls the corner itself. And that talks to a central recenter or central computer, which manages the whole four corners. And then one of the other benefits of the recorner is this is a one part number component. So we, we provide this as a single part number and it is replaceable within one hour. So you can actually replace the whole unit. You've got here a quick connect unit, which actually connects in your high voltage and your low voltage automatically. And you can just bolt it laterally into the vehicle, connect it up, and away. So you keep the truck running and then you repair your component offline. So now you can see the re corner actually installed into our into our platform here. Um, you can see an example here of the rear steer. We're actually giving us some some angle in this instance. And we try and divide the the, the platform into five zones. So if we actually go to the front of the truck, probably a few people around mm -hmm. underneath the cab we've actually got zone one which contains all of the thermal system all of the uh the refrigerant system that's going to keep the batteries managed so that's all at the front of the truck you then have essentially where the wheels are which we call zone two at the front and zone four at the back they are identical so we, this is again our modular design so we actually make that structure with the structural wheelhouse the same at the front and at the rear Zone three in the middle here is where we've got all of our high voltage systems. And this is the flexible length of the truck. So we can actually change the wheelbase of the truck depending on whether you want two packs, three packs or four packs in the vehicle. The, uh, the architecture is, is set up to actually be able to quickly do that. And then zone five is at the rear, which is your kind of rear overhang. And you can decide what you want, you want back there. P7 is the name for their platform. You can get it as a skateboard with no body on it from a class three all the way up to large step vans and box trucks. As he said, wheelbase can be configured to meet the needs of the customer. Last year, they partnered with EAVX and Morgan Olson to put their streamlined Proxima step van on the P7 skateboard. 
That's a large van on a long wheelbase, but the four-wheel steering keeps it nimble. P7C is what they showed this year. C is for chassis cab. For this vehicle, Class 4 applications are the sweet spot, capable of a variety of applications behind the cab, all of which can take advantage of the exceptionally low platform height. All of their P7 configurations utilize four re corners, each one with a 100 kilowatt motor. That adds up to 536 peak horsepower combined with the confidence of all wheel drive. For the chassis cab, three battery packs deliver a range of about 150 miles. DC charging can be done at a rate of up to 100 kilowatts. So now actually inside the cab, um, which is uh, kind of the cab chassis we've, we've, we're providing on the P7C, we've, what we're giving you here is, 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 a very, is a cab with a lot of space. You know, I can stand up, I've got a, about seven foot of height in front of me. Um, it's much easier in and out. You've got two steps to get into our, to our low platform. And then you've got a very simple uh, in, in kind of driving environment here. We have the steer by wire system. So actually, we're not physically connected to the wheels. We have no mechanical connection, but we actually have underneath here uh, an electrical motor that gives you feedback on the steering wheel. So you can actually tune to have different weight of steering, different feel of steering in different environments. And then we have a very simple uh, touchscreen uh, uh, kind of environment here that gives you some of the key features such as kind of battery charge. We've got PSI ratings on on the on the tires. We've got uh, an HVAC system, uh, radio, uh, sat nav environment in that, all the standard things. And then plus we do have additional features for the for the truck that uh, we can bring in as it's um, a by wire truck we can bring in creep so if you want to have a creep feature tail swing control is where we want to, to manage the the rear steer at low speeds to stop any kind of collision in a parking situation um, we've got one pedal driving where we can bring in the the the, the cap b um, regenerative so you can drive just off the accelerator pedal press the brake put it in drive and off you go where are you this is not a concept, it just looks futuristic. The chassis cab is their production design, and yes, entry egress is way easier than in conventional trucks. They have a surprising number of dealers signed up to sell them already, so hopefully I can catch one soon, take it for a test drive, and tell you what I think. Thanks for the overview, Peter, and thank you for watching.